frameshift drive charging. Currently in idle around a blue white star in PRU EUQ GIQ DR3. What a name. Doing some exploration here. I appreciate you coming out to help me, Commander. Excellent. This is, Commander, this is just precious. I love hearing this. I imagine you can spark a lot of uh, thought, curiosity. Good thing. No kidding. Well, I'm glad I'm there. I'm your first. Wow. Yeah, fuel hasn't been an issue for me on this trip. Um, I made my first uh, full system discovery, found a high gravity planet though I didn't know it was a high gravity planet until I landed. Oh well, okay, this is gonna sound lightweight, but it was 3.11 gravity, 3.11 Gs. So, admittedly, yeah, it, I didn't realize. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> bit of a surprise. I landed on the dark side of the planet. And if I had seen 
If, if, if I had seen the uh, surface coming up to me as fast as it was, I probably would have been able to pull out and be fine, but... Whoa, you're fast. I can't imagine landing on a AG planet. I would love to try and much it unshielded holler. Jesus. Oh. I was at twenty five percent and I'm already at forty one. Thank you for making the trip out here. I didn't think that uh, I'd get a response, but you guys are a stellar group of pilots. Yeah. Yeah. I decided to go out exploring after realizing that the engineering in the bubble, I mean, engineering is just generally broken. Remote engineering is absolutely broken. You can't do it. So that rendered my two ships that I was building just before the update absolutely unflyable. So, yeah, I was just building them. And so I was just like, well, what am I going to do? What's the one thing that's not broken right now? Hmm, exploring. And if there's anything I do have to say about the update, it's that they fixed the SRV turret. The successful. When you're aiming, like, just using the turret itself as its own guidance mechanism instead of having to go into turret mode, where you're controlling it manually, it actually hits the targets that you're firing at. Yeah. From, I mean, I've, <laughs> I mean, I only tested it on that one planet, but from my experience here, I was able to go through an entire uh, geological site, and I was really satisfied with how the SRV performed. I didn't have to go into turret mode once. Yeah. As I'm concerned, that is a thing of the past. Yeah. That's ridiculous. How people, well, okay, there's apparently a science to it, but. Excuse me? Yes, I have. Turns out, a collector limpet is not what you need when you're exploring. 
Repair limpets are more needed than collector limpets. I don't know why I brought collector limpets. Yeah, that was not a thought. That I <laughs> Only in populated areas. It, it, it made sense in my mind, but then I realized that that was a terrible, stupid idea. <laughs> All right, I'm at 100%. Thank you for the services. Looks like your job is done. Keep that in mind, and I'll bookmark that. I know it's out there. Thank you very much, Brusky. Your services are very much appreciated. Thanks, you too. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I'm out on an exploring expedition. I'm not looking for the fastest way. Sure. No. no don't do it. No. You're a monster. Why would you do this to yourself? No. Rescue, no. Exceeded.